Hello, Freddy here. Uh, today I decided to pull out one of my old projects that I had done probably several years ago, but a lot of video on YouTube doesn't share with you how you convert one. Uh, this used to be gas, but it's now electric. This is the Mugen MRX3. Instead of selling it, I decided to just convert it to electric just for fun. And I'm going to share with you how I did it. Take a look here. Hmm. So start off with just a basic simple layout. Take out all the engines and the guts. The speed control here is the Hobbywing XR8 150 amps. Yeah, I'm only running 4S, but you can put 3S on each side and push it up to 6S. I'm not in for a lot of wiring, so I like to limit my wiring. So I got the positive going to this side, the negative on this side, and the joint cable right here. You hear a little bap, and that's it. Okay, nice and clean. If I want to turn it on, and run it. Let me see. Well, before I get into that, the motor is a Toro uh, 2150 kV. It's not a fast motor. Uh, I would probably upgrade it to maybe a 2400 or 2500 kV later. I do have a two-speed on here for the time being, just for the for showing it to you. But normally, I only run one speed. Okay because I took out the, the servo. When you're running two speed, you need to install the second servo in order to have brakes. But when you're, only, when you're running one gear, then you use gear brake. Okay. The front is still one way bearing. Yeah. Alright, let me see if I can turn this on. So let's put it to the right. Car. MIX3 Eco. Now turn it on. Okay. That little beep is just to show you how many cells. Beep, 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 beep. You hear that second gear kick then? Okay, it's kicked it. It's fast enough for me for the small track that we have. Let me turn that off a second. The bottom, I have the aluminum plate going across for the battery. Um, later, I would like to probably find a carbon fiber okay, to mount this battery box. Ooh, take that off, take that off. Yeah. It's just a battery casing four screws holding it okay now let me explain something about the gearing uh, this is pretty much what the gas one runs it's uh, 16 and 20 first gear is 50 the second one is 45 Okay. When you buy the gearing, the, sh the motor shaft is not very long. Oh, by the way, the mount, the mount is a techno mount, techno motor mount that I had to kind of drill out the bottom here for the two screws. I'm only mounting it with two screws, by the way. And right now, I use the Dremel to kind of open up the hole a little bit. It's very minimal sliding to the side, so I might try to make it longer so I can slide it so to adjust for the, the gearing okay but right now it's pretty much set to where it is okay back to the, the pinion gearing if you are going to use two speed it's important to buy the right gear you see the first gear here is uh, is flat the cut right here is flat but the second gear is I don't know if you can see that 
It allowed just enough for the first gear to slide inside to find the, sh the motor shaft and lock it on. If you buy the flat gear like this, you're not going to have enough space for the, the first gear to lock on to the shaft. Okay, I hope I can make that clear enough. When you're running only one gear, basically what you're going to do is, let me take this out real quick. Slide this out. Ah. Excuse me. Okay. Pop this off. Hmm. Oop, don't lose my clip. Okay, I got it. Found it. Slide this off. What I use is uh, this regular wheel bearing. It's, uh, let me see, 16 diameter on the outside. 8 on the inside, 8 millimeter, 8 by 16, and the thickness is 5. I just put it in here as a washer. Mm. Let me slide down. There you go. Seem to fit perfectly. Okay. And then you just uh, get the clip back on. Hmm. I don't think I can slide this in my hand. Nope. Let me use the plier here. Okay. And that seems to work just perfectly. Okay. Now what you do with the second gear is you lock it in. You get to the screw. Oh. You might have to rotate, turn the wheel a little bit to find that screw. The center screw. Can I find that though? I'm not sure yet. Is that the right one? It's kind of dark in there. I think that's it right there. Okay. Tighten it all the way. Mainly you lock, lock the first gear in place. Go to the other side, and you lock this baby. Whoops, sorry, it's not quite locked yet. Anyway, you get the idea. You lock it in, and you have the first gear. You only have one gear, and you're only running the high gear. Okay? And that's it. I hope that's easy enough for you in a nutshell. Uh, I do encourage you to have a fan, and you may have to cut some holes in the body on top just to let the air go through to the fan the motor. If you're running one gear then you don't need the servo, okay, you're using gear brakes. But if you're running two then you need the servo here and do a radio mixing just to act activate the braking. Okay, other than that I hope this is helpful. If you want to convert one of your old MRX or whatever to electric, pretty easy to do. Okay, bye now.